Hi YouTube, this is my very first YouTube tutorial. Um, I've just made the switch over from Logic to Ableton. I've watched tons of tutorials this week and I wanted to give back and share one as well. I watched a tutorial on how to make a really awesome dirty style bass line only using the sampler in Ableton and a basic saw wave. No soft synths, not using massive, I'm not using FM8 or an expensive um, soft synth plugin. If you have Ableton, you're ready to go. Um, just to be noted, I am running Ableton uh, 8.2.6. All right, so I love when tutorials just get right into it. So this is the sound that we'll be doing. So what I've done there is made a simple chain of plugins um, and then macroed certain things to make that effect. First thing I did was made a new MIDI track. On the MIDI track, I inserted a sampler. Um, in the browser here, you can see I have bass saw wave. I drag and drop that into the sampler. And if you zoom in, you can see it's a basic saw. So we're all set with that and we're ready to go. I'll add a link to um, the saw wave so everyone will have access to that. Next in line is the saturator, and this is going to be really crucial. We're going to be macroing the depth of the saturator to get that talky effect. So real quick, we'll just go through the plugins. There's another video that shows you how to make um, just the bass patch a little bit more in depth, and I'll link to that. But we'll just go through this quick here. Uh, on the saturator, the frequency is about 1K. The width is about 30%. The drive has been macroed. Right now it's set at about 2 dB. The output is minus 10, which is really important because gain staging is going to be crucial. The sound could get hot really quick. So minus 10 on the saturator for the output, and the drive is 100. Next, um, just for an effect, I've side chained this to um, a track called Sidechain, the basic four on the floor pattern for the kick. The gain is zero, the dry wet is 100, the attack is um, really quick, and the release is 20 milliseconds. It is a short ratio, just two, and the knee is about five dB. The threshold is minus 22. Next is the multiband dynamics. The input of both the low and the high frequencies I've macroed so we can adjust those knobs and get even, um, uh, tweak the sound even further using that. Uh, the output is about three and the amount is 100%. Next is the amp, which is gonna be really important. Um, here's the sound without the amp real quick. Here's the sound with the amp. So you can see that's going to be really crucial in fattening everything up. The gain is about five. The base is uh, about five and a half. The middle I've ducked to about three and a half. And the treble is about five and a half. I've added a little bit of presence. I'm using the heavy uh, module here on the amp. The output is set to mono. Volume is about 4.3. And the dry wet is about 50%, uh, 46. That's where I found it to be nice. EQ8. Um, this is just preference. Um, it's to taste. I've cut some highs at 13, 14K. I've cut some lows at around 60 Hertz. Um, I've added in just a touch back of presence around 13K and around 5K, just one or two dB there. So once we have that, we're going to select everything using Shift. You can see all of the plugins are highlighted at the top now in yellow. If you're on a Mac, it's Command G. Um, if you are on a PC, I think it would be Control G, but you can also right click and go to Group G. That's going to group all these plugins into an instrument chain. And it's going to give us these macros here, and that's going to be the real heart of the sound. Now, the Talky I have renamed, which is simply a macro to the depth of the saturator. You see here, I'm moving uh, the Talky and that's moving the depth. And this is what that sounds like. I'll turn the input uh, gain up for this. Okay. 
So moving that depth is really what's giving us this sound on the saturator. That's um, really just the heart of the sound right there. Just a real quick side note, um, the saturator I've set to soft sign and the soft clipping is on. That's also going to be important. So after we've grouped all of these into one chain, we're going to hit map mode. The plugins turn green and we're going to select any portion of our plugins to map to the macro. So in this case, I selected talky and then selected map. I've renamed it by hitting Command R or right click and go to rename and I've named it Talky. Here um, I've mapped some things to the EQ and I've also mapped the drive of the saturator and the high and the low gain of the multiband dynamics. So you can see, you can really get in depth with this, but the beauty of it is that we're not using FMA, we're not using Massive, we're simply using Ableton and um, a saw wave. It's as simple as that. And you can get some really fat bass sounds and also this really cool talky effect if you modify the depth. Um, I further mapped the macro to the mod wheel on my keyboard by going to MIDI up in the top right hand corner. Everything turns blue. I've macroed my talky to my mod wheel and now here it goes. So there's the sound. This is my first tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did and it helped you, rate, comment, subscribe, like, all that jazz. I'm totally open to answering questions and hopefully there'll be more videos in the future. Thanks.